Today's episode is brought to you by Aura Frames. If you're looking to give a great gift this holiday season, Aura Frames has got you covered. Also, today we're brought to you by HelloFresh. HelloFresh is going to deliver those delicious meals right to your door. All right, let's jump into this podcast. Hello, everybody. It's time for Ghosts and Crunch Dogs. Crunch Dogs in the morning. In the morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the episode of Cox and Crendor in the morning. Yo, excitement. <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, yes. Yo, it's like halfway through December. It's we are two and a half weeks out from the end of the year. Yeah, I know we talked about this last time, but I stand by it. This summer felt like it went on forever, but the last few months zoomed by for me. Yeah, and especially December. December has. I was thinking about this today because I'm, you know, I'm one of those people who I'm going to classify as lazy. So <laughs> every two weeks, I have cleaners come to the house, and uh. I realize that it's been two weeks as of tomorrow. They come tomorrow. And I realize, like, oh my God, they what? What? It's already been two weeks. It felt like they were here days ago. Like that's where I am mentally. So <laughs> yeah. And also a, a reminder to everyone, because I am both lazy and psychotic. Because my parents instilled in me that if, you know, a great example is. Always have clean underwear because if you die and someone sees your underwear, <laughs> eh, you know, you don't want dirty underwear. Or if someone has to go in your house for some reason, uh, you got to have a clean house, right? Yeah. So I will clean before the cleaners get there. <laughs> that- <laughs> oh, I'm aware. I'm aware it's insane. Don't worry. <laughs> I know. And I will, I, mean- I will like, I won't do the deep cleaning. I expect that's their job, but I will right. like, clean down counters and like make sure all the dishes and stuff are done and the laundry is looking good and make sure everything's I'll uh you know make my bed up nice like <laughs> I'll do crazy <laughs> things because like I don't want them to judge me I feel this like this little lady who comes into my apartment I don't want her to think I'm a mess <laughs> tell all of her friends about me well if you think about it you're paying for the motivation for you to clean in a way. I guess. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, you know, it's not the worst. I mean, it feels like the worst. It feels insane. <laughs> because in my mind, I'm like, well, if you just cleaned, like if you just every day picked a different room to clean up, then you would always have a clean home. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. The problem is I know that and I can do that, but what will end up happening is I'll get ready and prepped to, to clean, and then I'll put on either music or TV or something in the background to just have something to listen to, mm. and then I'll stop everything I'm doing and just focus on that. I'm like, oh, this is getting good. <laughs> and I'll just watch the TV, or if it's music, I'll be like, oh, I love this song. I'll just sit down on my couch and like bop my head, and then three hours will have gone by, and I'm like, oh, I didn't clean at all, but the cleaning supplies will be literally just sitting right there like, yeah, oh, you could have used me, but you didn't. I... 100% have ADHD, Crendor, and it is a problem. <laughs> Wait, so you just listen to music for three hours? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> I'll just sit there and zone out and listen to it, like, bop my head and be like, damn, that's a great, that's a great, man, that was a great album. And then I'll go find another one to listen to, and I'll be like, yeah, I'll get to the cleaning, I'll get to the cleaning. This is the same thing with me and working out, or me and, like, making a healthy dinner, or me and going for a walk, or me. This is just everything about me. Rather, it, it, <laughs> In high school, for example, if I had to write a paper, I would put that paper off until midnight the night before, and then I would stay up all night writing it, and then because I am a mess, I'd be like, Mom, can you review my paper to make sure it's good? It'd be like five in the morning, and she's waking up, and instead of doing her morning stuff, she's sitting there looking at my paper, trying to review it, and be like, well, actually, this is incorrect, and this is, I'm like, okay, thanks, Mom. I have been a mess forever. And I probably should seek some help, but I'm like, well, I've been coping my entire life. So hell, it's too late for me. You know, <laughs> it's just, it is an inherent problem with me. I have said this and I'll say it again. I need someone in my life. 
I need like a big mommy dommy to come in and just boss me around. Okay. It's what I want. It's what I need. I need a boss. Because yeah. I'm a gr- I'm a grunt at a core level. I will do whatever you. T- I'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Like I I don't want to make decisions, but I'll facilitate. I'll make it happen. But uh, yeah, if I I'm I'm bad. I think I'm bad at life, dude. And I uh, the only time I'm good is when I'm on a podcast with you. That's it. That's it. I can talk. I can talk a lot. But other than that, I got I got nothing else going for me. That's for sure. <laughs> I I think it's just time management. Well, here's the thing. Well, like, yeah, well, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you set three calendars. Yeah, you know what happened? I still have them, and they are unused. They, I have like four weeks of calendar stuff, and then, like always, something will happen. I'll get caught up in something for a few days, and then I just will forget. Unless it's directly in front of me, I will forget its existence. A great example is I went out and I bought uh, some hamburger meat and some chicken, right? Because mm. I was just like, well, I got nothing in the fridge, so I guess I'll go buy these and I'll make some stuff this week. Oh, I also got stir fry stuff, like uh, various veggies and things. I was going to make a right. stir fry with the chicken. I was at the office, like, damn, I'm hungry, dude. I, I guess I'll like go, out and buy a, like go out and buy a salad somewhere. So I went down to the street and like, got a salad, came back to the, ate that, went home, went to bed, woke up the next day, looked in the fridge and was like, ah, oh, that stir fry. That's right. I was going to make the stir fry. Okay, tonight I'm making that stir fry. Go to the office, do my thing. It's like 8 p.m. And I'm like, well, it's 8 p.m. I don't know if I want to cook tonight. I guess I'll like, I don't know, get a burrito on the way home. So then I go <laughs> on the way home and I get the burrito. And then <laughs> in the morning, I'm like, okay, Jesse, tonight we're making this stir fry. We're making this stir fry. And then I'll go to the office, do some things. And then someone will be like, yo, we're all going out to lunch. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll go. Make a, we'll go get a big lunch. And then at night, I'm like, well, I'm still pretty full from lunch. So, like, I don't want anything big, like a huge stir fry thing. Oh, wait. That's my life. I constantly do that. It is insane that I do that. And I don't know how to stop it. And I feel like every time I try, I'll make it three or four days and I'll feel proud and good. And then just be like, what was I doing? That is, it's, it happens every time. I'd say it's pretty common for a lot of people because I know a lot of, there's a lot of people that procrastinate or like they, they're going to do something or like cook something and then they don't and they throw their food out. Like I, I heard some stats, like people waste like millions of dollars every year in just food. They don't cook. I'm convinced that people, the thing people throw away the most baby carrots. I know so <laughs> many people who go out and buy baby carrots with the intention of eating baby carrots. And then they sit in their fridge for a month and then they're like, well, these are rotten. I got to throw them out. I know so many people that are like that with specifically baby carrots. I'm convinced that's the number one waste of, of food. You know, baby carrots aren't even like baby carrots. Yeah, they're just already wasted carrots. They're carrots that are then like <laughs> yeah. more carrot scraps. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I just the whole product, baby carrots, I feel like is just waste from start to finish. <laughs> it kind of is it's just set up to fail. Yeah. In the grand yeah. scheme. So I'm trying to be good. So in my home right now. I've cut out anything that's quick and easy except for fruit. Okay. So I've got some granola, but I've got like fruit. So I got apples and bananas and oranges. And that's the only thing that it, like I don't have any. I used to have, uh, you know, like a breakfast bar or some sort of oatmeal bar or something that I could quickly grab on the way out, right? I don't right. have any of that right now. I'm like, <laughs> Jesse, we're not doing processed stuff. We're doing like, we're going to try and keep, if we're going to eat terribly, eat something good terribly. That's where I'm at. <laughs> right. Uh, and it's, it's no, it's, it's working fine. The problem is, is most of my diet right now is various fruits, uh, wheat thins and a uh, <laughs> lot. I'll say lots of water. I'm down. I'm like drinking lots of water. So I feel good about that to the point where I had a Coke the other day and was like, this tastes weird. And I feel like that's a good thing. So I don't know. Didn't you have a big water kick last year? You said this is when TikTok told you to drink like eight gallons of water or something. It was this year, and I'm still doing it, and and <laughs> I'm I. It's great, yeah. Uh, I've been drinking a lot more water, and at the grocery store they finally got in. I've said this before on the show. I'll say it again. Lacroix Pure. I think it's just called Pure. It's the blue case. It has no flavoring, no nothing. It is like the most basic bitch sparkling water. It barely has sparkling in it. You know what I mean? It's just water, canned water with a little bit of like, but there's not much. It is so good. 
And it isn't one of those ones where, you know, sparkling water sometimes when it gets warmish, it tastes like ass. No, yeah. no, no. This is still fine. And they finally got some in. I got like three crazy uh, craces. I got three crazes. <laughs> three crazes. I got th- three cases of that. So I've got water plus that plus tea. I'm doing great. I'm living my best life. Um, however, I did go and get uh, some of those like seven, those little baby cans of uh, whatever the bootleg Sprite is, the zero calorie bootleg oh, Sprite. Because yeah. mm-hmm. I was like, sometimes I want a little like sweet. Um, and I have that in the fridge too, but like, yeah, one day we'll have to, I'll have to send you a photo of my fridge and so you can see the insanity that is <laughs> way too much water. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, that does not surprise me. Yep. We drink, uh, we get the spin drift water. You ever have that one? For some reason, the fruity water or the water that has like a lemon hints. I'm like, eh, eh, nah, it's not I, for I me. I like that. I like that. We got the lemon, we got the lime and we got the lemon lime. Those are it's, the three I, we go with. It's not bad. It's just not something I want to drink every day. You know what I mean? I see. No, and I, I, I like that. Oh, I gotta, I gotta have my, I gotta have my wawa. I gotta. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I think I, I don't know if it's because I now classify as being old as dirt, but for mm-hmm. some reason I'm like, iced tea is such a treat. <laughs> I feel, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> dude! When we go out to brunch, I swear to God, there are. Just tables of old people with like g- like giant glasses of iced tea. I'm like telling pitching. you, dude. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, I don't know what the crossover was, or maybe I'm just actively doing one thing better in my life. Finally, and I'm just like, I don't know that I like sodas anymore, but iced tea. Oh, yeah. It's There's it's a weird a point thing. when you get older. It's got to yeah. be like uh like you hit a point. And you're just like, iced tea sounds good. And you just start drinking the iced tea. Like it just replaces it. And you're just like, hmm, a healthy alternative. I mean, they're probably still putting sugar in it. Right? I'm I'm a no sugar iced tea person. I uh, I actually like just iced tea, which sounds weird because it's just like leaf water. But yeah. uh, I don't know. The other day in the office, they everyone bought a bunch of sodas. And I was recording something that was late. And there was a Mountain Dew in the fridge. I was like, all right, I'll try it. You know, like I'll pull this Mountain Dew out and drink it. Dude. I don't know what happened between 20-year-old Jesse and 40-year-old Jesse. <laughs> I mean, it's too sugary. There's like, even when I drink a soda thing, I'll have the mini cans, and usually I only have like half of that if I do. Like, I, I can't drink a lot of soda. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's very bizarre, but, you know, it is It is what it is. It, it is indeed what it is. Uh, yeah. I was just going <laughs> to... I just pictured you, like... Being like, guys, you know, everybody, I'm just so busy today. I, I don't got time for anything. And then I just picture you sitting on the couch, drinking a <laughs> partially sparkling water, listening to Christmas music for like four hours. I wish that was the case. <laughs> I, w- I genuinely crave it. The problem is, is I do that like nighttime take back thing where I'll get home. It'll be like 8 p.m. And I'll feel like I've been robbed of time for myself. <laughs> And so I'll put on some music or put on TV or I have uh, the game Theater Rhythm, which is a uh, like a Final Fantasy game, but it's all the Final Fantasy music. And you just play through the music. And like, uh, I see. Listen. And I could play that for hours and just listen to the music and do like the boop, 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 do that thing. Mm. Stuff like that where I just my brain shuts off. I was saying you still got to decompress. Maybe you're just decompressing too long. Oh, for sure. Because, again, time gets away from me. Hmm. Hey, you know, what are you going to do? It's a, my life is a complex tapestry of failures. <laughs> <laughs> That's a quote right there. Um, <laughs> well, in my life, uh, I wrote down a couple things. One. All right. So this week we went to Costco and we went to, uh, we walked around the mall. So at the mall, there's this old Italian woman with her mom. Already she great. Literally, she was just yelling at her mom who was getting like jewelry. Like, not like angry yelling, just like loud. She's like, Ma, Ma, look at this. Ma. And she like did not hear whatsoever. And she goes, Ma, they got Bengal earrings. Ma, look at the Bengals. I just want to say for the record to everyone from New York, New Jersey, <laughs> wherever you may be around the world, <laughs> I love the use of Ma. Hey, Ma. Look at it. I love that. Unabashedly 
love the accent, love the, like, instead of mom or mother or mom, just, hey, ma! Hey, ma! I love it. Yeah, it is great. It's just, it's short to the point. Like, ma! <laughs> so I honestly still, I think she was like, ah! It was like all she said, but the other lady just kept being like, ma! It does make sense because you said an old Italian woman and her mother. I was like, whoa, how old must the mom be? Oh, yeah. She was like minimum like 80s. Right. So she was up there. Uh, so that was a fun one. Then we saw the when you walk into Costco all the time, they got all those TVs on and they're always yes. playing like the super like 10K ultra graphic channels. And then it made me realize like who watches those channels? I feel like I would watch one of those channels just to like chill out to. But I don't even know where you get them. I guess I don't think they're on YouTube. They're probably on YouTube. There's probably like a specific station that's like TV advertisement channel. I don't know that YouTube has the ability to go beyond 4K. I thought they did. YouTube highest resolution? Yeah. I think it is. YouTube Great. supports 240p to 2160p. February 2023. What's 2160p? Oh, 4K. Yeah. Oh. Well, I could have sworn they went higher. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I was thinking of them adding 4K. Although it... Uh, I mean, it says... I'm looking at it now. It says, how will your video display? And it says, 8K is there. 76080 by... Uh, 7680 by 4320. It says it's there. Damn. But it also says... Uh, we started removing support for playback at resolutions 4K and 8K. For example, we may no longer support 5K. What? What, <laughs> what the? 5K <laughs> is a resolution? Well, of course it is. Why not? I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I saw someone sworn. post that they were doing stuff in 10K. Now I'm like, yo, there's no TV in the world that can give you 10K <laughs> res like good quality 10K resolution on anything. Yeah. It's upscaling like crazy. Yeah, the, th the whole point of the higher resolutions is like, oh, if you have like a bigger TV, then it looks good still, right? Because it used to be, I remember like in the 90s, like, look at my big screen TV. It was just like blurred yes. <laughs> motion blurs walking around. Uh, I, but now. Hold on. Uh, 8K video. I'm just going to look it in. Look it in? I'm just going to look at it. Just, just look it in. <laughs> I'm going to look at it. They're literally, what? <laughs> okay, yeah, you're, you're, you know what? You're totally right. YouTube does 8K. Yeah, I thought I saw it. Yeah, the problem is, is that I'm looking at a video right now, and it is gorgeous, admittedly gorgeous, mm -hmm. of Earth from the Sky 12K video. <laughs> but again, it only operates in 4K. Yeah. So, oh, nope, never mind. It up, There's a thing here that says it can take it to 8. All right. I don't oh, know yeah, the rules, man. Is. Dude, I told I you. The, I knew I saw it. It looks beautiful, but here's the problem. It's almost too beautiful. Like it yeah. looks it's starting to look pixely. It's the it's like over sharpened. Like yes, that's exactly it. like if you take a photo and then you mess with the sharp setting on your phone. That's yeah. exactly what it looks like. Although this these do look like what they play in the store. To yes, like sell absolutely. You a TV. <laughs> the, it doesn't. The best one um, are those videos where it's just dudes walking through the streets of Japan in 4K. Those oh, are the yeah. best ones. Yeah, I love those. It actually looks like you're there walking through the street. Uh, you could like uh, go look up uh, Japan, heavy snow in Ginzen Oz Osen 4K. And you're like, oh, wow, this looks, it's neat. Those are cool. But again, you're not seeing anyone who's like, I made the scary Gabe video in 4K. Like there's no reason to do that. <laughs> yeah. Even when you like watch those things in the store where they sell you and you're like, wow, this TV's awesome. And you buy it. Then you just watch like some normal shit that doesn't yeah. need to be in 4K. It's still fun to look at those TVs when they're playing all their stuff. But it, nobody's nobody's gonna just sit there and watch that. Although maybe you would. <laughs> You're supposed to clean. You just put that on. I know for it. a fact Alex Fossiani would. Every time I'm <laughs> at that man's too. house, he's got some video playing that's like walking through a wilderness adventure, and it's just in the background, <laughs> just playing. And there's no sound because he's playing like a record from a band I've never heard of that sounds like it was made <laughs> in 1954 by like a fusion jazz band that's high on something. And the <laughs> songs are like, man, a bar, and then a man, a bar. yeah. <laughs> and he's playing a, on the switch. And I'm like, this man 
is living his best life right now. That is pretty great. I would honestly, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, that him of all people is doing that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we went to Costco. We did that. Walked around. Got Costco stuff. Uh, then I was watching a TikTok thing about a person that makes like only fake podcast TikToks. There's so many of those, and they're so obvious when they're fake podcast TikToks. <laughs> it's upsetting. Here's but yes, thing. go on. I want to start making fake podcast TikToks. <laughs> well, of course you do. <laughs> it's just for anybody that doesn't know, it is what it says. It's you're pretending you're on a podcast, which, you know, I've got I've got the microphone, I've got the setup, right? It's all it always starts with one of those ones like, yo, dude, did you hear about insert fact? And then it cuts to another guy being like, No, that's crazy. Cuts back, yeah, dude. And it's about a minute and a half of a fake podcast. It's insane. <laughs> yeah. Like I just want to sit in front of my my podcast microphone and just pretend like I'm on a thing. Just be like, and that's why you just, you really need to understand sparkling water. You know, it's coming from the ground. You know, it's, it's diversifying its portfolio through mineral rocks that creates energy life. And then just like pulled up the pink starburst at the end. Yeah. Sparkling <laughs> water doesn't simp for your mouth. Okay. It actively <laughs> rejects it. You have to want to drink sparkling water. It's not that normal ass water that, you know, dogs drink the water in your toilet bowl, bro. Sparkling water is for adults. It's a beverage. Yeah, you just do that. And then you just pretend like you're on a podcast because you just look to the you look to your left or right in front of the microphone. And you're just like talking like you're on a podcast. Yeah, it's going to be great. And it works. What sucks is that it works. Yeah, because you're everybody's like, oh, what podcast is this guy on? Yeah. But it's they, they aren't. They're just talking in front of a microphone to nobody. Thankfully for us, when it happens with us, we actually have a real podcast that people can listen to. <laughs> That's true. And you can tell when it gets picked up places because the episodes where we'd make like a short or a TikTok or whatever do so much better than the normal ones. Oh, yeah. It's it crazy is, to me. Yeah. Dude, that was like the uh, when we had the League of Legends one and then like we had VTubers watching it. <laughs> they were all like coming to the podcast. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm, I'm sure by now they've been like, Ugh, these guys suck, which is fine. You yeah. know what? But <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> you got to get those bumps. You got to get those, yeah. <laughs> those big bumps in the viewership. Mm. Uh, there's probably a couple people still listening from that, right? Yeah, sure, sure. Maybe like yeah, two, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be two. There's gonna be a comment where someone's like, "I'm, I'm a listener still." And we'll miss <laughs> yeah. the we'll miss the comment, and they'll be like, "They don't even care." And that's it. <laughs> and then they're gone. Which, oh my God, I forgot to mention uh, the tweet I, I tweeted today where I woke up and I had a dream where I was legit like talking to you and Dodger about reacting to the, the Geek Ender podcast. And I was like, guys, I'll just watch the entire episode of like an hour and a half and react to it. And then Dodger was like, oh, I don't know, like the... The copyright, she like named some random company like Generation Inc. is not going to have that. <laughs> they won't be allowing that to happen. And then you were like, listen, I'll do it, but only if I get to react with you. And then we were like, that, standing, sounds, that sounds real. Yeah. <laughs> we were standing near a river, like a big river. Uh, and I remember I was like scooping up water from the river and I was like, you guys just don't get it. And then Sips was there for some reason. I don't was think he, he was. Was like, he sipping on the river? He might have been sipping on the river. I think it's because you had sips on the recent thing. And that and his reminded home was me flooded? He might, he might be flooded. His <laughs> mind is flooded. And was the river just his home? <laughs> it could have been. He lives in like the middle of nowhere, like North uh, Antarctica or something. I don't know where I couldn't at. believe that we spent so much time in that podcast talking about turtles. I'm sorry, tortoises. <laughs> I couldn't. Yeah. If you just uh, watch the playback actually, of that. Did you know that all tortoises are turtles, but not all turtles are tortoises? I did not know that. I guess now I do. You do. I learned that from Pointless Top 10 Turtles. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> so I knew there were going to be people that are like, Cred you should make a tortoise list. But I looked it up, and it's true because all tortoises are turtles, but not all turtles are turtles or tortoises. I should have hit them with that knowledge. Those, yep. those, those turtle people, tortoise people, they would have blown away. But like, I know more yep. than you, and you have them as pets. Yep, 100% blown away. Now, now I know. Now I'm going to use that next time. I'll be like, gotcha, turtle people. Yeah. It's like how yeah. saying all spaghetti is food, but not all food is spaghetti. 
Damn, dude. Damn. <laughs> this is philosophy 101 now. <laughs> exactly. It's the same thing. Um, where was it? Oh, yeah. And it was, all, I think it's because after I saw that, I had to message Sips because I was like, dude, we got to power wash because we do it every like three months. We meet up and power wash. Amazing. Yeah. So, uh, and then we do a thing where I'm like, dude, we got to wash. And he's like, yes, sir, we do. And then I was like, <laughs> we've done That's that three times. That's the most Credor Sips conversation <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> We got a power wash. Was, yes, sir, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we power washed in May. And then in September, I was like, uh, yo, we got to start power washing. I got over my concussion. He's like, all right, you going to BlizzCon? And I was like, no, nah, not this year. And then he, I was like, in November, yo, we got to do some washing. And he said, yeah, for sure. And then a month later, I said, you got any free time next week? And he said, yeah, what are you thinking? And I said, any day but Tuesday. Then... <laughs> Another month goes by. <laughs> and I said, literally the other day, I said, yo, we actually got to do some power wash. And he said, God, yes, I totally forgot. I am down to wash hard. That's where we're at right now. What you described is every <laughs> single online friendship ever. <laughs> it really is. I'm we got to do something though. like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then months go by. Yeah, I'm surprised that. Uh, the four of us with me, Dodger, you, and Octopin played Lethal Company. I didn't think that was going to happen. I think we all just had the desire to play, and we just agreed on a date and time. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. so. If you were to Which, ask us when's the next time we're going to play, I don't think any of us could answer that. I don't think we have oh, an yeah, answer no. for you. We Definitely lucked out. Not. The stars aligned. <laughs> uh, which, by the way, it's up on the old Kren Clips channel if you haven't seen that one. Oh, it's so much fun. It's it What great. a great time that was. Yeah. I got to play it again. Uh, this past Friday, except I did it with mods and mm -hmm. the mods had like guns and uh, different abilities uh, and like uh, you could have more than four players. And I'll be honest, it was fun and goofy, not scary at all. There's yeah. sc it was zero scary. Um, That's and they tried to make game. it harder. Yeah, like the game was just different and it wasn't nearly as fun as just a small group and you're clearly outgunned and outmaneuvered. Yeah, it wasn't. We were in, we were, we made so much money, right? The, the mm -hmm. only way people died is when we killed, our, we killed each other. Yeah. Did you walk away? What just happened there? <laughs> I was plugging my phone in. <laughs> Listen, I thought you were going to keep talking and I plugged it in. You stopped. Uh -huh, so yeah, like, yeah. Hey, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Listen, that sucks. Uh, I'm just saying, I think the best thing you can do is give people less, you know, let them walk around. Be like more oh, yeah. scared. That was the that was the best part. I remember that one room we walked in. There was like a monster right there, and you both were like, ah! and I just like walked out right away. I was like, nope, I'm out of here. I the best one is when you walk like there's two really good ones. One where I'm watching you go into a room and everyone's like, watch out for the machine gun. And you turn around and look right at it as it blasts you. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. And then the other one where you and I walk in a room together, I'm like, what is this on the ground? And it explodes and kills us both. <laughs> That's exactly what the game should be. Yeah. Like, I don't know what this is. I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, now I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's got some great clips. Not quite me talking about Baldur's Gate, but it's pretty good. Which, by the way, I love reading the comments on those because there's just like normies on that, too, where they're just like, oh, why did he kill this character? I'm like, what do you mean? The, they act like I knew what I was doing going into the thing. And they're just like, I don't understand why he did this. They're like, uh, did he mean that this thing was there? And I'm like, dude, I don't know. I was just <laughs> winging it. Yeah. What do you mean? He didn't know. Yeah. yeah. It's like at the start where I said, uh, I'm like, oh, I went into the go or the town with the goblins. But what I meant was me and the goblins went Together, into the went town. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I know people what you thought meant. I was talking about like an actual goblin town. I was like, no. There's, yeah. there's people just don't. You went in the t you went in the town <laughs> with the goblins. Yeah, you people, invaded a town with goblins. Yeah, yeah. So I know what you meant. It's on. Hey, look, it's on them. It is on them. It's their fault. Yeah, it is the children who are wrong. <laughs> I um I want to share with you something mm. that I saw once again in the corner of Doom, the infamous corner of Doom. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how to register this as a real thing that I saw. <laughs> right. But okay. It's, I don't know, midday. This is, this is like a week ago. It's like midday I'm driving around and I see a guy wildly gesture, like 
Just like his arms moving about, shouting at cars all by himself. Right. In his right hand is a suitcase that's like comically big. Not one of those like wheeling ones, like a like a like a, like a 1940s suitcase thing. <laughs> and it has the Gryffindor logo on it. And he's wearing a long coat in the middle of LA. All I did is in my phone is I wrote down I can't tell if this is a man who went on vacation to Universal Studios or a <laughs> wizard who is stuck in LA. And I just keep thinking about him because he was so out of place and he was like just yelling at cars and he's standing in the middle of the road with a suitcase with the Gryffindor logo and a long coat. And if he had a scarf, it would have been perfect. (laughs) I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what was going on with him. I don't know what was in that suitcase, but I'd like to believe he was a wizard just stuck in LA. And he's like, this place is intolerable. Dude, I love that. I love that he's just, maybe he's looking for the green cheetah. Maybe. And they were like, you must seek the green cheetah in the, <laughs> in the marina of Venice, California. And he's like <laughs> looking around, trying to find her. They probably told him to go to the crazy corner. Yeah. yeah. Like she will find you. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a big suitcase full of magical powers. He's standing there like, hey, the green cheetah. I'm <laughs> telling you, it was <laughs> like, um, what the hell is that? Uh, beasts and where to find them or whatever that is. Oh yeah. Magical beasts or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So like <laughs> a bigger, more comical version of the, the case that he has mm-hmm. in that. Yeah, this is and it, like kind yeah, of like a like, duffel bag, uh, but not a duffel bag. Like it's a part suitcase part, like that kind of thing. But it was huge. <laughs> it was so big and it had a Gryffindor logo on it. And I just was like, what the hell am I looking at? And it wasn't like he was wearing a black trench coat like he was in the Matrix. He was wearing like a long kind of wool coat in the middle of L.A. This guy, <laughs> I, I have to believe he was a wizard. I have to. And instead of fantastic beasts and where to find them, it's just like insane, gigantic beasts and where to find them. He's looking for like the biggest, strongest beasts imaginable. Maybe he was trying to find that bird man who was on the corner that one time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or the uh, frog, the frog boy, <laughs> the frog boy at the El Pollo Loco drive through. <laughs> what do you Those think about it? could be his beasts. When you think about it, there's a lot of crazy beasts. Like there's the cheetah, the frog, <laughs> the bird. <laughs> They're all there. They're all there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe there's the he, python guy who he has the beast. python. Yeah. Maybe he was a beast. He's trying to find what beast he is. I'm sure if he looks hard enough in L.A., he'll find that. <laughs> That's true. If you're in L.A., you can find anything you're looking for. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, which leads me to my final point that I've written okay. down that relates absolutely nothing to what we're talking about, uh-huh. which is it's getting dark out earlier, and I hate it. But I think this week is like the shortest day of the year. So now it's just we start going the other way. Isn't it the 21st is the shortest day, yeah. I think? it's the winter solstice. So really, you're kind of like glass half full right now. Yes. You're like, look, it, we're, it's sure it's about to be the shortest day, but then it gets better. Yeah. Well, that's, that's kind of the thing with where I like spring, because a lot of times in spring, it's like the weather's kind of the same. The, the lighting is the same at points, but you're like, hey, you know what? We're on the we're on the other side. It's starting to get lighter out all the time. It's like all mental at that point. It's kind of like to spring forward and lose some of that. Yeah, it's like <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> that's true too. You need to spring forward, but it's like when you're on a flight and you're going to fly somewhere and it feels different than when you fly back. Yes, you know? yes, agreed. I think it's kind of like that. Like that's what I always think of. So right now it's like it's always darker and you're like up. Oh, it's like four. 15 p.m. and it's dark outside uh but yeah I, just, I hate it although i do wake up than i earlier than i used to back in the day years ago but it's still you know you only get like what i get like five hours of sunlight or something la is still the exact same except it's a little darker a little sooner but other than that no difference i was thinking about this the other day there's all this christmas stuff up but like it is bright and sunny and 70 degrees. It's wild. <laughs> but does it get dark early? Uh, let me look this up. 
Uh, Los Angeles. How do you need to look uh, it up? Can you just look at sunset? I mean, it's 2.47, so it's, yes, today the sunset will be at 4.46 p.m., it says. Okay. So, yeah, it's still pretty early. Yeah. But, I mean, like, yeah, if I looked out right now, it's 2.48. The sun's still out. It's still, you know. Oh, yeah, 2.48 sun's still out. Mm. I think, uh, I don't even know when it's sun's. I think sunsets around the same time here, like 4.30 or something. I oh, imagine. yeah, it's 4.30. Yeah, we're, and like, latitude and longitudinally, we're right. not that far off from you. So mm-hmm. us, you being 4.30 and us being 4.46 checks out. Yeah. So, I mean. But I'm, I'm curious, of like, sunset in, see, yeah, if you're in Ecuador, if you're in Quito right now, it's at 6.14 p.m. Yeah. And oh, they're much further south than us. Who would have thought that different parts of the world have different weather and light? It's great. Like, who would have thought? <laughs> who, who I mean, thought? considering the earth is flat, it makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, how it is really that even doesn't. possible? Yeah. Maybe the maybe the water pouring over the edges of the earth are doing something. It's cooling know? it. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. That makes sense. Exactly. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, the ice walls. <laughs> Actually, yeah. uh, there's no water pouring. It's ice walls, dude. And the ice walls protect us from the giants that live on the other side. Well, that makes sense. Because you don't I mean, want obviously. the giants breaking through. Right, right, right. Because <laughs> if they did, it would ruin society. <laughs> Attack on Titan is less of an anime and more of a parable? Yeah. No, 100%. <laughs> um, <laughs> Someone's uh, going to write us and be like, I'm a, it's about time you guys talked about the truth on your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's my main complaint. I don't know. I don't really have any anything else other than that. It's just I hate that it's dark early. The, the thing is, if we just kept the time the way it is, it wouldn't get dark till like 5.30. You know? I, and I think we've talked about this before, is the assumption was it was for farmers. But even farmers hate it. So yeah. I don't know what the rules are anymore. I don't know why we keep doing it. I, at the end of the day, I always feel like even though they try to sell it on being like, well, it's for crops and farms. It always feels like it's for rich people. You know what I mean? It's always <laughs> yeah. like something for the rich. <laughs> it always is. In some way, it's like, well, the banks made it. Like, well, why? <laughs> I don't know. It yeah, feels they, that way. If they really wanted to change it, they could. Right? In a they heartbeat. Just, they would do the, the classic where they're like, oh, we're going to pass this bill about whatever. And like, ah, sneak that time change in there. <laughs> they just attach it to it or something. Right? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, I don't know. I guess it's the, maybe, maybe it's for cities and the idea that the longer it's light out, the better it is for people's safety. But then they would want to keep it. But in the winter, it'd be darker much earlier. No, it would be like the sunset would set at 3 p.m. No, it wouldn't. It would be the opposite. I don't know, man. It'd be 530 in the winter. <sighs> Bro, I got no answers for you. I got nothing. I got. Clearly, I don't understand. <laughs> clearly, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what math you're doing. But all I'm saying is it's dumb and they should change it. And they won't. Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> that sounds accurate. Uh, but you know what's not dumb? Hello Fresh isn't dumb. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Nailed it. <laughs> this holiday season, you're probably prepping all sorts of crazy meals with family or not doing any of it because you're just so overwhelmed. Well, instead of stressing about all that stuff, or if you're going to stress about it when you're not stressing, think about having awesome meals delivered right to your home. No stress, no mess, no fuss, no muss. With America's number one meal kit. Hello Fresh. Say hello to the holiday season with the help of Hello Fresh. Skip the grocery store, skip all those lines, all those people, the pain that it would be to go shopping. And this holiday season when you're giving and gifting, save with the power of Hello Fresh. You'll be saving money this month with all the amazing recipes that you get delivered right to your home. It's cheaper than takeout and with pre-portioned ingredients, you're not wasting food like we talked about earlier in this podcast. After a full day of work, a full day of shopping, a full day of family, my goodness, some days you want to eat a wholesome dinner and it's just next to impossible. You end up being like me where you're like, well, I 
Guess I'll go buy a burrito. <laughs> you can make a burrito at home, you goofball. HelloFresh can turn busy weeknights into memorable meal times with delicious, practical options designed. Save you time, like their 15-minute meals or meals designed for families, meals that have everyone in mind, or if you're like veggie, you got that too. You can have a delicious breakfast or one of their 10-minute lunches that will satisfy kids, adults, whoever. And right now, they've got all sorts of great tasting things over there, like uh, Italian chicken and pepper sandwiches with potato wedges and tangy garlic sauce, or one-pot chicken sausage and chickpea soup with spinach, meatloaf with sweet chili glaze, sesame ponzu broccoli, and ginger rice. I had a chicken sandwich one uh, just a week ago. It was delicious. It, it came with a bunch of different things. And as usual, you're making it yourself. So there were some things in there that I didn't like. I'm not a big scallion guy. I just, for some reason, don't like them. I just left them out. I didn't need them. Didn't want them. Left them out. It's that simple because you're making it. It took 16, 17 minutes to make, right? And most of it was me just like waiting for stuff to cook. And I just sat around, listening to music, chilling, had a good time, looking at my phone, watching weird videos. You know, it's, it's that simple. If you want to get in on some simple, great eats that you make yourself, go to HelloFresh.com slash Cox free and use code Cox free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash Cox free. C-O-X-F-R-E-E, and use code COXFREE at checkout. HelloFresh, it's America's number one meal kit. And last but certainly not least, we are brought to you today by Aura Frames. The holidays are a time to get everyone together, and everyone tries to make memories and share moments and all those awesome things that, you know, friends and family are supposed to be for. But sometimes you just can't make it, or there are relatives who can't make it, or there are people in your lives, friends, who just are too far away. Aura Frames is a great gift for them. Stay connected, even when you're apart this holiday season, with a digital picture frame from Aura Frames. It's such an easy way to share photos and keep everyone up to date on all your holiday shenanigans. You can add members to the frame you and your family want to collaborate on, so you can send pictures back and forth. If one family member is in one state and one family member is in another country, you can all link to the various frames and all share photos of everything you're doing and the best part is, is it cycles through. Maybe a new photo will pop up and you'll be like, oh man, Susie's doing something amazing over there. Look at that. It's such a good way to keep everyone in contact and see what's going on in your life. And also to show off a little, you know, look at me, I'm, I'm on the beach. It's great. Plus the grandparents will love to know what you're up to. When you give someone an Aura Frames digital frame, you can not only just preload old memories, but like I said, the best part is you can keep updating it in real time through the Aura app. So if you snap a pic of the kids opening gifts, grandpa can get that on his frame within seconds. Aura is even the number one digital frame by Wirecutter, the strategist, and Wired. So if you want to get in on this and gift a really great gift, visit AuraFrames.com today and get $30 off their best-selling Carver Mat frame with the code COX, C-O-X. These frames, they always quickly sell out. So get yours before it's gone. That's A-U-R-A. Frames.com, promo code COX. Terms and conditions apply. All right, Greg, let's go to Travis. Let's go to the guys going to the traffic out there. Oh, boy. I didn't have the microphone on there for my chapter copter. Uh, You're falling apart, man. Falling apart. Uh, we're looking pretty good out there for being this deep into December and uh, Christmas coming next weekend. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's just, it's always bad around these times. But honestly... You know, I got nothing. I'm falling apart. Back to you. Awesome. What a great segment. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go to weather. Weather. Wow. Um, I wonder how many, I wonder if somebody could keep a tally on traffic segments. How many have been good and how many have been bad? I don't think we want to know the answer. I'll be honest. I don't think we need or want to know. <laughs> Uh, we, the question should be, how many have been actually about traffic? That's actually a really good... That's the real one. That's a real one right there. Well, this one is a weather request for Campinas SP Brazil. Campinas comes from Campo in Portuguese that means field or plains. 
So no mountains in here, no wild things, just calm, small city of one million people. I have no idea what kind of foods you will find. Mostly familiar things, I believe, like Subway, McDonald's, Burger King. Campinas, SP, Brazil. Let's see here. I'm Campinas. offended that the places we were recommended were like Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be some place called like uh, right here. Aramazem da Fazanda. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Currently in Campinas, Sao Paulo, Brazil, 81 degrees. Woo! Uh, it was 94 during the day. You've got a humidity of 60%, pressure at 29.89 inches, visibility 6 miles, winds at 10 miles an hour, sunrise 5.17 a.m., 6.50 p.m., sunset, what? Dew point 66, UV index 0, and a waxing crescent moon phase. Uh, take a look at the 10-day here. It's currently 70, partly cloudy. Monday, 93, mostly sunny. Tuesday, 93, partly cloudy. Wednesday, 92, partly cloudy. Thursday, 92 p.m. Thunderstorms. Friday, 85 with thunderstorms. Saturday, 86 with thunderstorms. And Sunday, 88 with thunderstorms. It's hot and rainy after a couple days of no rain. I just need to say, this place that I can't pronounce, <laughs> the Dave <of> Fazanda, um... <laughs> It appears to be a buffet, mm -hmm. but the quality of the food there is, it looks so good. It's very clearly buffet food, but it's, it's it makes American buffets look pathetic. It is, you know what it is? It's kind of like a Vegas buffet, but all sort of, I want to say Brazilian food, but for some reason there's also a lot of pizzas that are made of chocolate. Is that a Brazilian Bullet? thing? Chocolate pizzas? A lot of chocolate. Chocolate I pizza. Guess. I don't, dude, I don't know. I'm looking at, there's dessert pizzas. Like a lot of dessert pizzas. Huh. One of them looks good. It looks like it has like a toasted marshmallow on it. All right, whatever. I, I got to stop looking at this. Of I all the places, that's the one pizza. I saw. At the Cathedral du Chop. Those places. I need fancy. to know what the Cathedral du Chop is because that sounds like it's like a church they converted into like a uh, steakhouse. I think it might actually be. Hold on. Cathedral du Chop sounds there, awesome. There it is. I linked it. No. Uh, did you? Wait, did I? You linked me. Here's the problem for this entire segment. Google updated, so now it opens locations in a Man, side window. Oh, and try you, that oh, one. Try you know that what? One. I found it. I found it. Yeah. No, I don't worry. Okay, there you go. I just typed it in and uh yeah. Yeah, look at that. It, it does. It, it does kind of have a churchy vibe, but also the ambiance of an Outback Steakhouse. Yes. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> Question. <laughs> Question for Brazil. Is a Brazilian steakhouse like what we have a Brazilian steakhouse here in America? Where like dudes walk around with skewers of meat? Or is also, that us bastardizing your food? <laughs> Also, is a Brazilian steakhouse just called a steakhouse there? <laughs> true. <laughs> true. Yeah. Bila. Whoa, what the shit is this? Hold on. I, I, I don't know. What do you, what do you, what? Oh, Burger 931. Burger 931. <laughs> burger 931. I'm looking at these burgers. They look like burgers. Although, again, terrifying because I feel like this is the way people think of America when they think of burgers. Right. I'm looking at a burger now that is three types of, it's a burger and then bacon wrapped something and then what appears to be either deep fried chicken or deep fried cheese and I can't really tell, all <laughs> on one sandwich. And I feel like, is this what the world thinks Americans eat all the time? Kind of is. I, <laughs> all right. Look, <laughs> is this what they think we eat more than once a day? <laughs> uh. No, nah, I linked you to the Vila Rural Rancho Bar. Now, this is a place that I would love. Yeah, this place looks I great. I can already tell that they're, yeah, this place looks great. Yeah. I, I drink, I listen to live music, I get a pitcher of beers. Oh, yeah. Although also, it is funny to me that the, the, the big bucket of beers is Heineken for some reason. That seems weird. Yeah, I don't know why either. <laughs> uh, although, I, uh, this Google update does suck. Yeah, whatever this update is, it makes looking at photos so much harder. Yeah, it's annoying. It's yeah, stupid. that's kind of 
This sucks. Although, shout out to the fact that two years ago, someone posted what appears to be just a bottle of Smirnoff poured into another drink. <laughs> and then there's multiple. Like, that's the thing I'd order. That is a bright purple drink with Smirnoff poured into it. Like, like the bottle stuck into it. <laughs> that thing, it, and it says it's clearly for multiple people, but nah, right. dude. That'd be no, what end me. That would end me. <laughs> that's all you. The best part is they got like a delicious looking soups and fried chicken at this place. It's also a little weird because there's a lot of photos of clearly American looking dudes with their Brazilian girlfriends. And I'm not sure what that says, but <laughs> it says something. All right. Yeah. As, uh, okay. I mean, main thing here is that he says just going to be McDonald's, but there's plenty of places. Yeah, I, I love this. Also, a small town of a million people. I feel like that's sarcasm. I'm going to say that's sorry. Oh, wait. So, so, wait, hold on. So, sometimes when you click on a place, it takes you to the old version of Google Maps. Yeah, I, I noticed that. What is what is happening, Google? Yeah, what is this? Uh, and that's the weather. All right. Let's go to sports. Sports. Oh, boy, we got a lot of sports going on. First, we got football scores. We got the Rams beating the Commanders. Cardinals are losing to the 49ers right now. Bills are beating the Cowboys. Uh, Ravens Jaguars play later tonight. Browns came back to beat the Bears. Packers got blown out by the Buccaneers. Texans beat the Titans. Dolphins beat the Jets. Chiefs beat the Patriots. Saints beat the Giants. And the Panthers somehow beat the Falcons. And Raiders beat the Chargers on Thursday night. On Saturday, the Bengals beat the Vikings, the Colts beat the Steelers, and the Lions beat the Broncos. In, cool. <laughs> in basketball, Celtics still in first place with the Bucks and the 76ers right behind them, and the Timberwolves in the West are in first place with the Thunder, Mavericks, and Nuggets right behind them. And in hockey, we've got... The Bruins still in first in the Eastern Conference. The Rangers first in the Metro Conference. The Winnipeg Jets and the Dallas Stars and the Avalanche all tied at first in the Central Conference. And the Golden Knights first in Pacific with the Canucks right behind them. And that's sports. Okay. What is our fact of the day? Fact of the day. Uh... Giraffes are 30 times more likely to get hit by lightning than people. Is it because they're just taller? They're closer to the sky or because they spend time around trees? Is that what we're about to find out? I don't know. It says true. There are only five well-documented fatal lightning strikes on giraffes between 1996 and 2010. But due to the population of species being just 140,000 during the time, it makes for about 0 0.003 lightning deaths per thousand giraffes each year. This is 30 times the equivalent fatality rate for humans. I guess it would be because they're taller. And they spend more time eating on trees. Do they yeah. like do they have a sense of it's raining, there's lightning, get away from tall things? Or because they're so tall, they're like, well, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I think so. You just, you just keep doing. I mean, it's still a 0.003% chance. It's still pretty low. You might as well just it's, keep eating that tree leaf. Yeah, it's so weird because we always try to put human emotions and reasoning onto animals. And then we're told, no, animals don't think that way. They think like eat, sleep, bang, run. Like they, they don't have the same emotions we have, but then someone will come out and be like, actually an animal feels, you know, like uh, octo octopi octopuses, right? They're literally like, they're very smart and intelligent. They have feelings and emotions. You're like, well, when did we know that information? After we've been eating them for <laughs> yeah. years? What is the rule here? Yeah. yeah. It's very interesting. I'm not sure I, I, we have answers or answers that I have, really. Or like I don't uh, know. lobsters. Lobsters are apparently really smart. Yeah. It, it's very strange that we're just like, yeah, no, they don't They don't understand the things we do. They don't have emotions and things like that. But then someone will be like, actually, after years of study, they definitely do. And so yeah. I never, <laughs> I never like, know. I, I have no answers. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. It's always the things that are delicious too. Yes, it's always, always just like this delicious thing you love. Turns <laughs> out, hates you for eating it. Like, <laughs> oh man, uh, delicious things. They hate you. News at eleven. <laughs> uh, well, it's your fact of the day. <laughs> All right, what is our big news story of the day? 
Big news story of the day. <laughs> man arrested after allegedly molesting manatee statue at Florida restaurant. I've s there's so many questions. So there. I, I, first, we need to start with what Florida restaurant has a manatee statue and why? Yep. Then why did a man decide to molest that statue? And yep. then. <laughs> what happened to him? More importantly, has it ever happened before? What about that statue was this guy attracted to? More importantly, in what way did he molest it? I need answers. Well, even crazier is this was a Pittsburgh man. Yeah, you know what? That sounds like a good old boy <laughs> from the Berg. That sounds correct. Pittsburgh man is facing disorderly intoxication charge in Florida after he allegedly molested a He was a on vacation, statue. bro. Was on you don't get to tell him what to do at a St. Petersburg restaurant. He also tossed gator nuggets into the establishment from the parking lot. Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah. Anthony okay. Lessa, 23, was arrested last week in connection with the alleged incidents, which happened at two separate businesses. <laughs> Authorities arrived on I, the scene. I can't. The fact that it was two businesses is crazy. Like, the first one was like, eh, it's just a drunk, let him go. The second one was like, not again. No way, <laughs> no how. Yeah. Uh, they got a call from Rick Reef's restaurant on St. Pete Beach that an intoxicated person was causing a disturbance. According to NBC Miami, Lessa allegedly got angry after restaurant employees told him he had already paid his bill and it was time for him to go. Once outside... He allegedly, quote, molested a plastic manatee located in the restaurant's parking lot, which prompted another request from an employee that he leave. Officials said he got physically aggressive with the employee that he allegedly started tossing gator nuggets, that is, deep fried pieces of alligator meat, into the Rick Reef's dining room. I am on their their uh, photo website right now, and I'm looking at the alligator nuggets. They, uh, yeah, they're sizable. He's chucking <laughs> sizable nuggets at people. I, and I also found the manatee, and the manatee in this photo says, it has a shirt that says, did someone say tacos? Which I think is even funnier. <laughs> I see that, too. <laughs> um, uh, Les allegedly ran away towards his hotel, the postcard inn on the beach, but what happened next wasn't pretty. The hotel manager told police that he was acting disorderly and screaming obscenities at the person working at the front desk. The manager attempted to de-escalate things by escorting them to their room, but they refused to say which room was theirs. Lessa was removed from the hotel, but allegedly lingered in the parking lot, still shout shouting obscenities. Deputies said his actions caused traffic to back up and led to the disturbing of the peace of several other guests waiting for rides. Deputies will were... I will never understand people that get this drunk. Not like I, I understand. Yeah. I, I know that there's like sad drunks and happy drunks, but like asshole angry drunk never made sense to me. I do yeah. not get it. I don't know what don't it's about. It I watched a video on YouTube where it was um, uh, uh, cops were called to some place in Florida. It's always a beach in Florida. Cops were called, and there was a like a big buff dude and his girlfriend. They were on the beach, and the cops were like, "Sir." You're going to have to come with us. Like, what, 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 what did I do? What did I do? And they're like, sir, you peed in the ice machine at the restaurant nearby. You have to come with us. We're, we're detaining you. He's like, I didn't do anything wrong. What are you going to do? I didn't do anything wrong. I, so, so I had to pee. So I had to pee. And they're like, come on, sir. He's like, well, I'm a cop. Okay. Reach in my, reach in my back pocket. I got my badge in there. And they're like, sir, are you an officer here in Florida? And he's like, no, I'm from Chicago. And they're like, okay, well, all officers should know better than to pee in the ice machine, sir. And he's like, hold on. It wasn't the machine. It was buckets. I was peeing in ice buckets. Like, you shouldn't pee anywhere in the open in front of families, <laughs> sir. And they bring him back, and they sit him down on a bench outside the restaurant. They're trying to talk to him. And the entire time, his girlfriend's like, just listen to him. Just stop it. Just listen. And the guy keeps trying to stand up and fight the cop. And the cop's like, sit down. He pushes him down. And the guy's like, oh, you think you're big? If you just uncuff me, oh, I'd show you. And he's like, are you threatening me? Sit down. Let's just resolve this. And the guy's like, oh, and he starts like moving closer on the bench. And he just pushes him back across the bench. He's like, what are you trying to do? I'm just sitting here. I'm just sitting. He's like, you keep trying to instigate. Stop instigating. And he's like, oh, if I was right, if I... And, and his girlfriend the entire time in the background is just like, Calm down. What did he do? Calm down. She won't. 
It's <laughs> crazy, dude. And I keep thinking, <laughs> how on earth does anyone get like this? Yeah. And I, I guess I'll never be there or understand it, but my God. Yeah, I I don't understand it either. I could I can't even imagine being like that <laughs> at any point, no matter what I was doing. Like, it's exactly. Like I just what's crazy is he threw nuggets at the restaurant for reasons I don't know. Yeah. And probably because he thought it was hilarious because he's like the mentality of a six year old. And then yeah. he went out and rubbed up against a manatee that's like, I like tacos to eat. And then <laughs> went back to his hotel and started a fight for no re- Like, that is, I don't know what's going through that guy's mind, but I almost can picture exactly what he looks like. If, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I just know what this kind of person looks like. And I promise you, he has a backwards hat. I know this. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, deputies who arrested him said he smelled of alcohol and his pupils were dilated in a bright environment. His short-term memory wasn't so good either. Authorities yeah, said Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> kept asking why he was being arrested even after they told him. As deputies were putting him down, they found a little something extra in his pockets. More gator nuggets, which prompted an exchange that can be seen in this video. Oh my god, we have a video? <laughs> yeah. Well, yes! Uh, after asking what Lessa had in his pocket, oh, they said, oh, wait, after asking what Lessa's had in his pockets, one of the deputies realized, oh, that was the crap that he had that you were throwing in the other restaurant. Gator nuggets, he replied, shark bites. The deputy then remarked to her partner, I thought it was like cork. I'm like, why does he have cork in his pocket? He was taken to the county jail and booked on disorderly intoxication charge. You were saving them for later. That I get. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you're like, you know, I don't want to eat this all now, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. What's crazy is looking at a photo of him, I misjudged him. He doesn't look like every Florida man. He looks like every L.A. douche. Well, he is from Pittsburgh. You're right. So you know maybe... what? You're right. You're right. You're totally right. He has like that weird kind of Thin mustache with a little tiny baby goatee thing going on. Yeah, that's and that always purposely a... <laughs> messy hair. Oh, yeah. Big, yeah, I'm yeah. a writer in LA. Don't you know who my dad is? Energy. <laughs> yeah. And he's just kind of like, Bleh. yeah, I was wrong. I was thinking of him as Florida, and you were right. You said he was yeah. from Pittsburgh. Yep. You, you mixed it up. What a fool uh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> that's your big news story of the day. All right. Well, that's it for us. Thanks so much for listening or watching or ever enjoying the show. Crendor, hit him with the socials. We've got socials, youtube.com slash Cox and Crendor podcast. That's where all these episodes go up. Hit the bell. Be alerted when they go live. Thanks. Also, that's they hit the bell. Yep. Uh, also, go to youtube.com slash Cox and Crendor. That's where all the animations are. Also, you go on Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes. We're all over the place. And you can find us on our own things. Uh, YouTube.com, Jesse Cox. YouTube.com, Crendor. Twitch, Jesse Cox. Twitch, Crendor. Facebook, Jesse Cox. Facebook, Crendor. Twitter, Jesse Cox. Twitter, Crendor. TikTok, Jesse Cox. TikTok, TikTok, Crendor. TikTok, uh, TikTok. TikTok, YouTube, Cox Clips. YouTube, Cren Clips. If you want to go see us playing Lethal Company. And yo, 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 yo. Perfect. Flawless as always. <laughs> All right, that's it. We'll see y'all next time, and as always, yeah. to be continued.